All right, big day. So welcome to a new series that I'm calling The Plug. This is gonna be dedicated to new or unique companies where you can score custom gear for your setup. We're gonna take a detailed look at the ordering process for mechcables.com. We're also gonna take a look at a new company today that just entered the arena, Space Cables. You ready? Let's go. Yo, I'm Brian P, you're watching Bad Z Tech, and today we're gonna break down where you can get a custom cable for your keyboard, all the different options, exactly how you order so you can make sure you get what you want and what you can expect in terms of wait time. Just to get this out in front, these cables are not cheap. They can run more than 50% of the cost of your board itself, so if that makes you feel some type of way, you might wanna sit this one out. We are gonna be primarily looking at mech cables and space cables today for two reasons. Number one, I have their product in my hand so I can vouch for it. I don't have anything from any other companies. Number two, most custom cable shops you find right now might be taking new orders, but they're probably not taking new orders for coiled cables, and that seems to be a really popular ask right now. Let's talk about the anatomy of these cables first. On either end, obviously, you'll have your connector. One side will almost always be USB-A. The other will be the side that plugs into your keyboard. This is normally USB-C, though it's not uncommon to find mini USB on some Vortex boards and the GMMK. The other option out there is micro USB, but I don't feel like I see that a lot on keyboards. You'll need to pick the color of the heat shrink here. The heat shrink is this plastic material that covers where the connector meets the cable. The cable itself is covered first in paracord, which usually comes in standard or 550, sometimes jumbo. Jumbo is usually more limited in color selection. The paracord can then optionally come with a covering known as TechFlex. This can come in a variety of different colors as well. This can subtly or drastically change the overall color of the cable depending on the combo. Even the clear TechFlex seems to lighten up the overall look of the cable based on how it bounces light. The two paracords you see right now are the same paracord, but due to the TechFlex on the keyboard cable, it makes that cable look a lot lighter. After that, you can decide whether or not to include a coil. A coil normally jacks the price up because it requires a very long cable run and the labor associated with making the actual coil itself. A side note here is that adding TechFlex normally helps to improve the memory of the coil. The other big note is that if you're doing a color change mid-cable, TechFlex is mandatory because it creates the bond where the paracord changes. The part of my cable that gets the most questions and causes the most confusion is the addition of this aviator connector. This is that large metal coupling you see and it serves a couple purposes. The first is purely aesthetics. It just looks cool. The second is that it gives you a little more flexibility in how you use your cable. This can be really handy if you have multiple keyboards or multiple desks or you just like to change the look of your overall setup every once in a while. The placement of the connector is important here. This can either be placed to the left of the coil, what they call the device side, or it can be placed to the right of the coil or what you would call the host side. If you place it to the left of the coil nearest the keyboard, then you can have a couple short extensions made. One that terminates in USB-C and one that terminates in mini USB so you can swap out keyboards without having to change out your entire cable. Personally, I always put the connector on the right side of the coil. Here's why. With the connector on the right, when you plug the cable in, usually on the left side of the board, the coil will run along the top of the keyboard frame, giving a much cleaner appearance. Then if you want to switch, you can switch coils for a new look or a new board. If you have a little money to burn, you can order multiple coils for each keycap setup you have and switch it up. Let's switch gears now and talk about how you order because that connector costs a lot of confusion. For an example here, I'm going to use the cable that I used in this video because I got messaged a lot and ask what I put in to get exactly that cable. The big thing to understand here if you're ordering from mechcables.com is you need to get it in your head if you're using one of these connectors that you're actually ordering two cables. So you're gonna have your coil and your aviator on one side, and then you're gonna have your aviator and your long extension to USB-A that goes to the back of your computer on the other side. So these two cables together is gonna form that one big custom cable. All right, looking at the Mech Cables order form here, it says in capital letters, first thing it says, due to high demand, current turnaround time is three to four weeks. After your order is submitted, you will be invoiced. This usually comes through like PayPal invoicing. Any questions you can email. I've had people tell me they have not had a lot of luck uh, submitting like customer service based emails to their email address right now. The other thing it says right underneath that is that if you're gonna do an aviator cable or a cable that has an aviator connector, it requires two form submissions. So basically you're making your first request is gonna be for like the device to the connector. And then the second request is gonna be from the other side of the connector to your host or to your machine. So in the length section, you can see the cable starts at $16. So for like a simple one for 16 bucks right here, this is just gonna be like a flat cable. If you're gonna do a coil, you're gonna write coil in here and then the length will be calculated later on down 
in like the order form. But if you're not buying a coiled cable, all you do is specify the cable length right here. So if you're just gonna do a regular five foot cable, you just specify this. They do note here that any length above five feet will cost you an additional dollar. If you're doing jumbo um, paracord, it's gonna cost you an additional dollar fifty. So underneath for your sleeving options here, this is your base paracord. So 550 is gonna be your standard and then jumbo will be down here as well. They do have image galleries here so you can get an example of what exactly they offer. I can tell you that they have like <laughs> the selection on mech cables is ridiculous. You can also see here that jumbo is gonna be limited to all solid colors here. So back here, your paracord sleeving, all you do is just type in the name. An interesting note here, for themed cables, what this means is if you have like a color set that you're trying to hit. So if you have like a laser desk mat and you have a laser keycap set, then you can also just write laser down here and they're gonna automatically do everything so that it matches that. So your paracord, your tech sleeve, they'll do it in two tone, like your heat shrink, everything will match exactly what you're trying to match. So you just indicate what you're trying to hit down here. If you're gonna do a two tone, this is also where you do that. It says right here, color one will be used on the end closest to the device connectors. This is if you want like a light blue on the front side into a gray on the back side. This is where you do your two-tone as well. So your double sleeving, this is where you indicate your tech flex. Um, on the cable I did, I just did a basic clear tech flex right here. Um, you can also click this and it'll show you exactly what the colors are gonna do. Now the weird thing is that it's really difficult to visualize what a certain color tech flex is gonna do to the overall appearance of the paracord that's underneath it. So it's just kind of something that you, you're gonna have to gauge because the idea of, I know I mentioned in a video that you can like email these guys and they'll send an example, they're like way too busy for that. So you're gonna have to do some digging. Down here under connected, this is where people start to get confused. So if you have it in your head that you're gonna use an aviator cable, what you wanna do here is pick like your USB-C if that's what your keyboard hooks up to. And then down here you wanna terminate it in an aviator mail. Then the other side of your cable, the second cable that you select, is gonna start with Aviator Female and it's gonna terminate out at USB-A 2.0, either silver or gold. So this will be the actual cable that runs from the other side of the aviator and plugs into your computer. Two different cables. If you're just doing a straight shot cable, you're not doing the aviator connector at all. All you have to do is pick whatever your keyboard connector is. So USB-C type two, and then that's gonna terminate out in USB-A 2.0. So that'll give you a cable that'll plug into your keyboard and then it'll run the full length of the cable and plug into the back of the machine. Hope that makes sense. Down here we get into coil and you have a few different sizes you can pick here and they give you an example. I use a large. The cable that I used in that video is actually a large cable. They did send me a medium as well. You can kind of see the size differences here. It'd be really nice if they had um, like diameter measurements here. So you can kind of get a feel for what this would look like to scale in the event that you don't have a keyboard tray laying around that you can use to compare that to. So this is where you'd pick that. Obviously, if you do a jumbo coil, it's gonna be a jumbo cable only, or you can opt to do no coil. And you're only really adding seven bucks here. That's honestly not bad. <sighs> coil details read me. This is where people have a lot of trouble. Like how I did this thing. If you think like, this example right here is a mini USB that runs a two inch lead and then it goes into an eight inch long coil, then a four foot long extension and into a USB A plug. This format works great unless you're using an aviator connector and that's where stuff gets really tricky. So for the cable that I used in that video, really easy, it's mini C, right? And then dot, 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 and then two inches for the extension, okay? And then I did a coil, but I actually shortened mine a little bit. So instead of like an eight inch coil, I did a seven inch coil, right? And then, dot, 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 and then the end here would be aviator male. So that's what the first coiled piece of that looks like, is just that. For your extension cable, that's a piece of cake because all that is is aviator female, so it matches up with the other side of the cable. And then you go like this. And then you go four foot or whatever you want it to reach. I would suggest keeping it around four feet, otherwise you're gonna incur additional costs if you try to make that extension cable longer. And then it just like terminates in USB-A. Boom, so that's the second cable that you would order. It would be just like that. I hope that clears that up. All right, so the heat shrink, again, it'll give you a demo here in the image gallery so you can get a different idea for what the different heat shrinks look like. After you pick your heat shrink, you're good to go. At this point, you should have a clear understanding of what paracord you're going with, what your tech flex is gonna look like, what connectors you're using, the diagram that is gonna help create your cable, and the color of the heat shrink. Then you just pick your shipping option and you're good to go. As far as pricing, you will be invoiced. It's unfortunate you're gonna have to do like manual math here because there is no like cart, so you can't see 
what you're ringing up along the way. So just know that the cable that I used in that video for both of those cables combined came to just under $55 plus shipping. Closing notes for med cables. The main thing with these guys is, yeah, you're getting a crazy wait time, but the quality of these cables is impeccable. Like the attention to detail is amazing. The only issue I ever have with them is that occasionally on the jumbo coils, the consistency of the diameter of the coil itself uh, will look a little off. So it's not gonna be a perfect uniform thing. By nature, I don't even know if it can be like that, but uh, just something to be aware of. The other thing, I have this issue with uh, both companies. Sometimes those aviator connectors will screw all the way down flush, and sometimes they don't. Sometimes there's a couple millimeters, like that last thread where they don't actually meet. Um, not the end of the world, doesn't really throw off the aesthetic unless you're just like staring right at it. It's just something to be aware of because where they purchase those connectors from, they buy them in bulk and every once in a while they have one that doesn't work 100% the way it's supposed to. Um, under additional instructions, this is probably where I would type that out. Like if that's gonna be something that bothers you, like please make sure that the aviator screw sits all the way flush. Again, I've had it with both my cables and space cables. Space cables, a relatively new startup, is offering a couple things I haven't seen before. The first one being a magnetic tip for the USB-C connector. This is a cool add-on, but it doesn't really offer anything in terms of looks or performance. It's just something unique. Sadly, right now, you can't score additional USB-C tips because it'd be pretty awesome to have like one in each one of your keyboards, and then when you set the board down, the cable just magnetizes right to the board. They also offer a Limo cable coupler. This is very high-end, with Build Your Own starting at $85. They're normally limited availability, and they carry a longer wait time. If you're really just out here trying to flex, this is where the bar is now. This is the new high water mark. Like, I don't even have one of these yet. I also want to give a quick nod to their packaging here because my cables were shipped on a piece of PVC tube to help maintain the shape. I think that's a really nice touch. All right, so now we're going to check out Space Cables. You need to go to spacecables.net. Don't go to .com, go to .net. Right there on the front page, current lead time, 14 days. That's pretty cool. Uh, what they offer, custom cable work, and they also now have available DIY kits, parts, and connectors. So if you want to solder it yourself, build your own cable, you can totally go through that process here, and here's everything you need without having to source it in bulk. And that's actually pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna start building a cable. This is exactly where you'll go when you get here. Build your own USB cable. Here's the build your own Limo cable. Pre-order open now, available 8.5 plus current lead time. So you're gonna be waiting on that one and you're gonna be paying for it. Yikes, $85, get your foot in the door for that thing. And then if you want individual short extensions that fit onto your aviator connector so you can have multiple short extensions like I showed, you can do that here, that's 25 bucks. We're gonna start with the build your own USB cable. The pricing starts at 2250. So we're gonna build something very similar here. I'm seeing this process for the first time, just like you guys are, so I'll kind of be walking through this for the first time. Um, USB connector number one, device sides. This is gonna be whatever your keyboard is. We're gonna go USB type C, uh, host side computer, USB type A. Paracord's leaving colors, um, interesting. So you just click here, color chart is available under sleeving. Okay, so you do have some pictures here for some examples if you need to go to an image gallery and check this out. Okay, all right, great. And these are all the colors that they offer presently. So color selection is gonna be, ooh, it's a glowing, ooh, UV reactive. Hey, that looks pretty tight. Um, yeah, so color selection looks like it's going to be a little more limited than Met Cables currently. Um, I would imagine he has plans to expand that. We're going to go back to our order form here. And we're just going to do a basic, like, um, we'll just do acid purple. All right. Uh, Multicolor paracord sleeving. So this would be if you wanted to do a two-tone, three-tone, or four-tone cable. So the cable you saw in the, in the uh, preview video from them had a three-tone cable. So three different colors, changes color twice. We're just gonna do, we're just gonna keep a flag color there. PET Tech Flex, this is where you're gonna pick your Tech Flex. Again, no Tech Flex cannot be selected if you do multicolored paracord sleeving. It's because he's gonna use heat shrink to do that color change, and it's gonna need something over the top of it to make sure that that bond stays the way it needs to. Uh, we can do clear, and this is like a free upgrade, so I would just do this. Unless there's a very, very specific color that you're trying to nail and the tech flex is gonna affect it, I would just do this. This greatly improves the life of the cable. Heat shrink colors, obviously it's gonna be the color of your heat shrink. We're gonna go with uh, black, just to keep it simple. Coils, add a cool coil to your cable that's purely cosmetic. With coils, we'll start immediately after the device and connector, unless specified otherwise. So that means, if you pick a coil, basically as soon as the connector exits the keyboard, that's where your coil is gonna start. That makes sense, okay. Coils with cables that are detachable as well 
So if you have an aviator connector, or if you have a limo connector, the detachable part is gonna start immediately after the coil following the above scheme. You're gonna get keyboard, then coil, then the detachable connector. All right, that makes sense. So your option here is to add a six inch coil. So a little more limited in options. Um, 11 bucks, you get a six inch coil. That's where you go, that's, that's it. Includes overall length of the coil. So your overall length of the cable right here, uh, five feet is pretty much what you need because this is gonna include everything like, this is gonna include your connector, your coil, uh, everything's gonna be there and then you're gonna have like four foot plus for extension to get to the back of your PC. So unless you're like, unless you have a huge long cable run or your PC's on the floor and everything is very immaculately like cable managed, you might want a longer one, but I would probably just stick with like five feet here. Detachable, this is where you pick your aviator connector, which we're gonna do. Unless specified otherwise, the connector will be placed five inches from the device side of the keyboard. So if you're not doing a coil, you're gonna have five inches come off the keyboard and then your aviator connector and then your extension to your PC. If there are coils, it's gonna begin approximately one inch after the coil more towards the host side. This is our aesthetic preference as well as a professional recommendation. Oh, <laughs> wonder who that was. Extra detachable ends. This is what I was talking about where you can get like short add-ons here. Um, so you can, if you have two keyboards but you wanna keep the same aesthetic but one's like micro or mini USB and the other one's USB-C, you can do that right here. Uh, magnetic tip. Ooh, $13 for the add-on Type-C. What I will say about this is that it is, it's cool, but as gamers, we wanna make sure that the connection to our keyboard is flawless. Adding in this magnetic tip here does have a tendency to interrupt uh, the connectivity on the cable that I have. I would probably, I would probably skip this, honestly. Any additional requests go here. How'd you hear about us? Uh, Instagram, hey, Bad C Tech, hey, it's me. Uh, friend of my friend, word of mouth, Reddit, Google, add other, cool, cool, cool. Oh, look at this, this is cool. So they actually have a card system here. This is great, so you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. So 2250 for the build your own base cost, USB type C, $1.50 add-on, six inch coil, $11 add-on, five foot overall length, $5 and the detachable aviator for $12 add-on brings the total cost of this cable to $52. So it's pretty much dollar for dollar what you're paying for the MET cables. Right now he's got a really nice lead time. I really like the fact that I can just like, I like the fact that I can see everything right in front of me. I really like the fact that in terms of ease of ordering, I don't have, like I don't have to make any diagram out of like ASCII characters. I don't have to order two different cables and visualize what that is gonna look like. In terms of ordering process, I definitely think, um, I definitely think Space Cables has got it licked. Um, in terms of quality, man, it's kind of a shame because I got two really early examples from what he was doing. And we talked, uh, we got on a Discord call and I talked, I gave him all my feedback. I was like, this is, this is what you need to improve. The stuff he's coming out with right now is better than the stuff that you're seeing in the video. And I can only think that that's gonna continue to improve. But even here in the demo photo, look at this. Like this is an example of one of those aviator cables that doesn't quite sit flush. And this is, Space Cables is not the only company that's having issues with this. Um, these connectors are bought in bulk from overseas and they just have uh, tolerance issues like this. So some of them, this little ring right here will sit all the way down. And if you get one of these that sits flush and it looks perfect, then if you get one that doesn't look like that, it bothers you because like you're paying for a premium cable, you want it to be 100% legit. So again, in the comments, I would indicate like, please test my aviator connector and make sure that this sits all the way flush. But otherwise, uh, this is great. And this is such like, uh, no, this is a really easy, ordering experience. Select that. What, did I, what did I miss? I want to see what the shipping options look like. Ah, extra detachable ends. No, thanks. Uh, yeah, of course. All right. And then, and then we just go to shopping cart. Oh man, this is, this is way, way easier. All right. Shipping in the US, 450 international $14. So international shipping rates are exactly the same. So out the door, ship to your house for all the bells and whistles cable, 56 bucks. Not bad. I like this. 
Nice job. I do have to point out here too that on the early cable I got from Space Cables, the coils seem to be a lot looser than that on Met Cables. I know he is constantly making improvements to this design as he goes, but it's just something I have to point out. These guys are currently running a 14 day lead time on orders. I would expect that figure to jump considerably after this video drops. They were also nice enough to give me a discount code for this. So if you use code BADCTECH over there, you can save 5% on your order. Something I want to address here because I get asked about this a lot. These cable companies are very busy. When a video like like this drops, orders spike and the wait time increases substantially. These are usually small one or two person part-time operations and all this stuff is made by hand. In the case of Met Cables, don't be surprised if they're not really quick to respond to your customer service emails. These guys are busy filling orders as fast as they can. They're running a solid four week lead time on orders right now and they've had to hire multiple people to keep up with the demand. I've had a few people reach out to me on a couple different platforms around the three or four week mark to ask if I could help them out figuring out the status of their order. Sadly, I can't do that. It doesn't do me any good to send an email any more than it does you. In almost every case, those people have contacted me within 48 hours to let me know that their cable has in fact came in. It looks amazing and everything is right in the universe. All right, I think that about wraps it up for this one. Big thanks to Space cables and met cables for hooking it up for the purposes of this review any questions hit me in the comments or drop by the discord if you yourself have a company that you're trying to get off the ground if you're going to start doing custom stuff hit me up in the business email if you'd like to be featured on a future episode of the plug i'll leave that email down in the description below and that's it for this time i'm brian p thanks so much for watching and until next time stay up